It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. Y'all, I was realizing just a couple of weeks ago that it has been way too long since we listened to music by Grateful Dead here on the channel. In fact, it's just been the one episode. We've only listened to Terrapin Station on the channel before, and that was back in November of last year, and it is now June of 2022. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to uh, Hellring's Army here on the Discord, and I said, uh, friends, I need some help. I need some suggestions for this band, and I want to get it right. You know, I want to be uh, uh, choosing the right song and the right performance, because this band is widely known for their live performances. And so the song that kind of came to uh, the top of our discussion was this song called Morning Dew, and that's the one that we're going to go with today. Here's the thing, though, y'all. This is a cover. Uh, this was originally written and recorded by Bonnie Dobson, a, a Canadian singer-songwriter, in a live performance in 1962. It was then, in the years after that, picked up and adapted and performed by several folk uh, singers and ensembles and rock ensembles, including The Grateful Dead who included it on their debut album in 1967. And I checked, on that recording, on that 1967 recording, y'all, uh, the song is only five minutes long. But in the 1974 live recording that we're going to listen to today, it's over 13 minutes long. So I am looking forward to some, some soloing and some, some really great vibes. So I am glad that you are here with us today. The song itself is on a very uh, morbid topic, actually. It's a dialogue between the last man and woman alive after a nuclear catastrophe. And Dobson said that she wrote uh, the song after seeing the movie On the Beach, uh, this 1959 science fiction movie on that same topic. So we fast forward to, to October of 1974. Uh, the Grateful Dead has decided to take a hiatus from touring and they decided to offer this five concert run at the winterland ballroom in san francisco as this sort of grand send-off uh, for them and the concerts were filmed and later compiled into the grateful dead movie which was released in 1977. so this performance of morning dew that we're going to listen to is from the middle night of this five night stand and this performance is widely considered to be one of the best renditions that they ever did of this particular song as best as i can tell y'all we've got jerry garcia on lead guitar and vocals phil lesh on bass uh, we've got Bob Weir on rhythm guitar and vocals, Bill Kreutzmann on drums, uh, Keith Gosshow on keyboards, and Donna Gosshow on vocals. So, uh, let's, uh, let's dive in, y'all. Let's see how this goes. Morning Dew, as performed live by the Grateful Dead in October of 1974. All right, y'all. Here we go. Sounds like a mixolydian progression in the key of D. You know we couldn't do this without a little herbal friend, y'all. I can't walk you out in the morning to my 
I love how they're just not in a hurry at all. Just there to enjoy themselves. I can walk out in the morning. Do today. And how the percussion just lays back and follows Jerry's lead. That's a different little take on that progression. But they get back to D. Hmm. That's an F chord. Down to the C. And they get back to that D. the people gone <laughs> can you imagine waking up and being the last one of the last few people on earth after something like this happens I view this as a lament um, that Something like this is going to happen and there's nothing we can do about it, right? It's it's from the standpoint of, of being resigned to our fate, you know, and not having any power over it. There's that F. Some cool piano. To the E minor chord. Back to D. It's a whole different type of of musical aesthetic than something like prog or, or metal that we do a lot here on the channel, right? They're not quite in tune, but who cares? They're just going to settle in for some solos. So sometimes they're doing this Mixolydian uh, progression. They're in D. Right? Flat 7. 4. Down to 1. Descending fourths in that progression. A great rock progression. But then they do this. They go to flat three, which is flat seven, to two, back to major one.
where progressive music, you know, shepherds you through this emotional journey with key uh, changes and spicy rhythms and, and fives and sevens and all of that. A, a piece of music like this sets up an emotional state and wants to keep us there. Right? And just kind of cocoon us in this love from the band, you know? And we get the line, you'll never see those people anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. You know, that's the feeling of this hopelessness. Resigned, right? lines coming and they and they just let it sit lyrically and the crowd appreciates it it's really subtle but astute together abiding there's that F back in the C E minor then to D What do you say? You just chill for a while, you know? But this progression's nice. Oh, I changed it up a bit. Huh. Okay, that's the F.
can play along too. F. C. E minor. D major. What fun. I'm sure all of us that play instruments, that's so cool. Could have gone on for 10 more minutes, I wouldn't have been mad at it, y'all. And it's a simple progression. There's two little progressions that they did during that. They they were doing the, 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 the Hey Jude progression, the Mixolydian, right? They were in, what key do we want? D. Right? From flat seven to four to one. They were also doing this minor three. Sorry, not minor three. Minor three would be that. They were doing flat three. If they're in D major, Do, Re, Mi is the F sharp. They went to Do, Re, Me, right? And made it a major chord, borrowing it from D minor, right? So you do the F chord down to the C, C to E minor. To, uh, to uh, back to D major, which brings back the, the F sharp into that instead of the F natural. Huh. You know, the, the lyrics don't really tell a big time story. It's just setting up the mood and again, allowing it to stay there. And it's just... Uh, this is it's a f instead of a story song, it's more of a feeling song, an emotion song. And boy, I was with them uh, for that. And you know, it's so much fun to play along with your favorite musicians, isn't it? Uh, uh, if whether you play guitar or drums or keyboards or bass or uh, a brass instrument or a flute or what have you, play along, man. It's just. Uh, so much fun it brings you into the experience and so uh, I love uh, like kind of rearranging everything here in the studio and getting over here so I can record at the piano occasionally uh, especially on a piece like this uh, when I don't have to think too hard and and just enjoy the music with all of you so that was fun to get back to more Grateful Dead here on the channel and uh, I am happy that you have been here as we've been listening to Morning Dew from uh, The Grateful Dead live in 1974. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.